What's up y'all, my name is Rhino Spartan, and I found a way to make energy shields in unmodded space engineers. Not too long ago, an interesting discovery was made about the target dummies in space engineers. When displayed using a projector, the target dummy will still maintain its hitbox, even though it's not supposed to have any collision, as it's supposed to just be a hologram. When this was discovered, people decided to make energy shields using this exploit. However, they were not too effective at protecting ships and stations, because they had large gaps in between each target dummy. After experimenting with this exploit myself, I found a way to get around this issue, and that is by using a console block rather than a standard projector. When you project a target dummy using a console block, it will still have its hitbox just like a standard projector. But when you scale the target dummy down using a console block, the hitbox doesn't seem to shrink along with it. Because target dummy projections have larger hitboxes than their actual size, you can overlap the target dummy's hitboxes and create, like I said, a working energy shield. However, this design does come with drawbacks. This energy shield design does impact gameplay performance. However, the impact can be significantly reduced if you turn the target dummies into a checkerboard pattern and scale down the projection. It'll still maintain the same functionality, but it will have less surface area. If you go too far away from the energy shield, it'll disappear and leave you exposed to attack. However, if you remain in close proximity to the energy shield, it will, re it will remain online. I wouldn't consider this a drawback to the user, but it would definitely be a drawback to the attacker. My friend Billy let me use his account so that I could see whether or not these energy shields work in online multiplayer. And they do indeed work in online multiplayer, however, the attacker will not see these energy shields if they are too far away from the projection, and they will not understand why your ship or station is not taking any damage. If these energy shields ever stop working, don't be alarmed, there's a simple solution to this. You're going to want to remove the projection, open the blueprint menu, and select the energy shield you're using previously. Go back to the scaling menu and scale it back up to your desired size, usually around 15 to 20 percent. Now this energy shield can deflect almost anything. The only thing that can penetrate this shield is large grid blocks. So make sure you watch out for warheads and other large grid projectiles. Not only can you use this as an energy shield, you can use it as a hard light bridge, similar to the one seen in Halo. And your player will not fall through. The only problem that it has is that the feet will make some strange movements. If you found this video helpful or you like this idea, please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you have a great day, goodbye.